James here. With a quick unboxing showcase of a new product. This is from KNF Concept, guys. This is their SA254T1 camera tripod. This is a 94 inch four section tripod. This is made out of aluminum. This is a professional detachable monopod tripod with a 360 degree ball head. It also has a quick release for DSLR cameras. Now the detachable ball head is at about 19.3 inches. It can go vertically or it can go sideways. It can move in every angle or it can go upside down for macro shots. Guys, this is a full on bad boy tripod. This can hold up to, I believe about 22 pounds of weight. So you guys can put the camera on DSLR, your big long telephoto lenses if you really need to, and you're good to go. Now, this is a minimum of 27 inches high. So with it completely leveled out down, it is 27 inches. Maximum is 94 inches tall. That is super, super tall for a tripod. Now we got this for the new camera that's coming, guys. This is going to be pretty cool. Some of the stuff that this we're going to do with this. Like I said, this is a 22 pound capacity. Has a quick lever for the release of the camera. The camera can move in so many directions, guys. We're going to show you some of this after we unbox it. Again, this is made out of aluminum, so it's very, very durable, guys. It can do a 360 panorama like swivel if you guys really need, you know. So the 94 inches is super long without with the center column. If you don't use the center column, and I'll show you guys this, it is about 67 inches. So the center column that makes up the 94 inches, you know, is a separate piece. And we'll get into that. You have a 1.1 inch, 28 millimeter ball head, which can be used very well. Very cool. Very simple. Now the ball head is made out of KF28 metal ball. So it is a metal ball, so it will swivel and should have no conflicting issues. Now, I'm going to change views. I'm going to set up a different view, guys, and we're going to unbox this so I can show you guys this as we unbox it and show you everything in it. So you guys give me a second, and we'll switch views. Okay, guys, now that we switch views, we can pull this out. Inside here is a carrying bag. Carrying bag has all of our pieces. Just a simple empty box. We don't need the box no more. We have a carrying bag. Carrying bag's cool. I'm going to come closer to you guys with this. It has a Velcro handle to keep it nice and tight. Dual zipper, very strong, very large zipper, right? Inside here is all of our pieces and the kits. This should be all in one separate plastic bag, which it is. Now I'm going to show you guys something very cool about this kit. If you need it, it has a rest or strap that goes around your shoulders. How do you use that? Well, there are some hoops back here, right? Connect these hoops up. I apologize <coughs> for the cough and then you have your back strap cool easy I love that it gives you that option now we have the tripod itself now we're gonna try and pull this out without hurting myself because this is you know it's got some weight to it so guys just remember this isn't a light tripod it has weight It is a plastic, this does not want to come off, but it does. And then we have some instructions. I'm going to pull the instructions out because you never know. You may need it. Comes with an Allen, so you guys can adjust stuff. Shows you how every piece comes apart, detaches, and connects back up. Very cool, very cool. Now, here's your tripod, right? Normal tri-leg tripod. One of these comes apart, and I believe it's this one, if we want. Just unscrew it right, unscrews and becomes a monopod, right? Monopod, so you have a single pull, walk around like a walking stick, whatever you need. This is awesome. Now, you'll see that this is connected upside down, so they have it upside down with the gasket seals, guys. They do have rubber gaskets, just to make sure they're always in proof of place. You can connect this up upside down. Now. We're gonna actually detach this, guys, so we're gonna unscrew this right here. Unscrew all this, this, and hopefully, if I can, pull it apart. 
remember guys you'll probably have some easier doing this than me but Do 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 There we go. We're out. Just remember this screws. So you reverse the technology and kind of slide it back through. Then tighten this up. The wing nut, right? Now we have it set up properly. Just make sure that you little push pins, guys. Remember, go past the point, reverse everything. So set that back on. Make sure it's nice and tight, right? So there we go. There is our tripod. Now it's not set up just like how it, most people would, but you guys can kind of see this. We'll bring it back here, guys, right? Try to give it some more angle so it looks perfect. Each one of these legs has three adjustments to come out to make it taller super tall now here's where it gets cool the ball head now I don't have a camera to do this with guys but the ball head right turn this pull this out right and then we have an angle we can slide this through to however adjustment we want right this is a top now if you want to put this away you got to make sure you slide it all the way there to back down and down. That's awesome. Quick release. Slide this. This connects up. This screws onto the bottom of your DSR, DSLRs, mirrorlesses, your GoPros. It'll all go on there. Screws right into the 3 point, the 3 8 screw. Slide it back in just like this. Loosen it up. Slide it back in, right? Tighten it back up. On here is a leveler so you can level it. You can also adjust it to spin 360 degrees if you really need. If you want, you can actually unscrew it completely, take the head off, change the head if you have a different style of head to use. I don't suggest doing that because you may need that, so it does give you the option to do that. You also have this adjustment that moves the ball head different angles, which is cool. So when you do this, Pull the head out, right? Let's lock it in place. You guys can see, we can put a camera here, but then we have the option of adjusting the camera to whatever angle we want. Now, all of this can be done upside down also the way it was, so you have the option to have it angled out, down, or if you want, slide it in, upside down, take your shots from upside down, and you're good to go. Just make sure you tighten everything and it's all great to go. This is the KF Concept KF28, guys. Thanks for checking out this quick video and unboxing the showcase, and have a great day.